All right, Mr. T, I don't know how to make a charm. Okay, let me try and help you out. So, min on shape, I create a document. And we'll call this charm example. Uh, by the way, I move pretty quick in this. If you need to slow it down, then that's on you. So I'm going to click on front and start a sketch. And when I say that's on you, I mean just pause this and rewatch it how you need to. I'm a big fan of a simple circle, but uh, I also think it's kind of boring. So I'd like this thing to be about two inches in diameter. And that's going to be the basic look of my charm right there. Um, I think I will go ahead and extrude that up. And I'm just going to extrude a little bit. I'm going to turn off all these views because they kind of bother me. And I'll click on this and extrude it. And I'm going to extrude this 0.1 of an inch. Yeah, let's go with 1 eighth of an inch. And that'll do. And then I'm going to start a, another sketch on this face. And I'm going to hit front to get in closer. And I'm going to make a circle that's 1.9. I don't like that. Let's get out of circle. Let's make it 1.75. That looks good. Now I'm also going to... Oh no, it's already there. I need this outer circle again. It's, it exists. So now I'm going to extrude that outer edge. Why? I don't know. I just Somebody wanted me to make one of these. I thought I'd try something. But this one, just a sixteenth of an inch. Alright. So now I have this kind of little badge looking device and now what do I want to make I don't know that's up to you uh, I'm gonna put a link on the top in a second but otherwise I mean, whatever you want to put there uh, I would like I love tree houses so I'm gonna put a tree house and a tree on this okay fine I'll go here look at the front uh, I have no idea what I'm doing here so let's just play with it we'll put a little house up here uh, I don't like that. Let's make it bigger. And it already clicked for me. Um, point two. Enter. Sure. Point four. Enter. Yeah, there's my little house. Get out of it. I'm going to grab it and drag it. It's got no reason to be wherever I want it to be. Cool. I'm going to put a little roof on it. I found the center line by waiting for that little box to pop up. And I'm going to trim away this thing here and here. Um, I'm going to put a front door on it and maybe a window. There's a door with a little handle. Nice. And... Well, I gotta be careful when I go to extrude. This could be tricky. Yeah, what do I care? We'll figure it out when we get there. Uh, I'm gonna put a couple windows in here. Window here, and a window here, and I'm gonna put a couple lines in there. I gotta zoom in really close. Actually, I'm gonna do it with squares. Here, here, here. Here. I'd like to emphasize I am making this up as I go. Same deal over here. Alright. Uh, I'm going to finish this sketch and I'm going to extrude this. I have no idea what it's going to extrude like, but that's a cool tree house. Now i got to make the tree, but... I just think that'd be too complicated to do it all at once. So I'm going to spin it ever so slightly sideways so I can watch it extrude. And then I am going to try and extrude. Hmm. Changing plans. Go back to the sketch. And I think I will trim away some pieces here. Trim out you. And you. And you. And you. 
what do I want to extrude here? I want to extrude the whole thing except this. So let's get rid of this. Definitely want to extrude the circle though. I don't know why I'd give it to me twice. Yes, I do, but that's fine. And you, and you, and you, and you. So this is trimming. I can cut things out. Normally, I would put a little chimney on here, but I don't think that makes sense in a treehouse. So, now let's turn it sideways again, and let's click on this, and this, and extrude. Just a sixteenth of an inch again. So it popped it up. Cool. I made a little little house. Nice. Uh, now I'm gonna make a little tree. I'm gonna start another sketch here. Zoom in, and I'm gonna throw some weird tree up here. I'm gonna use spline if I can find it. Is that spline? Spline. So the tree starts here and it goes up at a little angle, and then it comes out here with lots of branches. I'm going to put the branch here that it's sitting on, kind of. Probably should move that and make it better. And then down here, and then all the way back across. <laughs> it didn't click. I'm laughing at my own bizarreness here. Sure, why not? Um, I wonder if I can move these a little bit up. I don't like where they ended up. Uh, neat, I can adjust my spline. Cool, finish, extrude, you, extrude, sixteenth of an inch again. Did it go in? No, it came out. That's good. Check. Hey, there's my treehouse. Now, I'd also put my initials on there, but there's a video on the assignment already that you can look at. And uh, let's put a little loop up here. Uh, no idea what I'm doing again. Probably recognizing that as a theme. Let's go on this plane. Sketch. And let's just slap a circle out here. I don't know how thick this is. I think I made it in 3 sixths of an inch thick. We'll find out in a second. So circle. And I want it to overlap. Uh, wait, let's do the inside one. Inside. And then circle. I want this to overlap. Finish. Good. Um, let's pick you and let's extrude you the other direction. And I think it's three sixteenths of an inch because I think I made that one eighth and that one sixteenth. One slash eight plus one slash sixteen. That's not right. Holy cow, it is right. Lucky guess. All right, sure, whatever. I have made a charm for people who like tree houses. And this is where the little chain will go. That's it, we're done. Put your initials over here, like I said. I actually, we'll show you that. I'm here, might as well. So I'm making a sketch on that face. And letter. Now, the key in the letter, if I go down a lot, it's going to make big letters. Um, the key is how tall I am, not how wide I go. That doesn't really matter. Um, and I will just write it in JPT. And hit a check mark. Okay, sure. And I'm going to drag it over here a little bit. Finish. And this one I'm going to engrave, so it's going to go in. Click on JPT. Go the other way. Remove. Um, 1 16th is not enough. I think 1 8th should be about right. I'll find out if I went all the way through. And you could go all the way through. Yep, I went all the way through. That's fine. And there it is. And I can emboss the charm. I mean, I can 3D print this charm by making an STL file, which I think is just a matter of exporting down here. Export. And say STL. And save it, and then send it to your teacher for printing. There you go. It's a charm example. Good luck.